as a beginner coder, I was excited to find Windsurf Cascade recently as a tool I could use to be able to create games and little applications without actually knowing how to code myself. For advanced coders, this is a tool that can aid coding, make it go faster. But for a beginner, it's really empowering to be able to create games, applications, just by giving instructions like you'd give a prompt to ChatGPT or Anthropics Claude. Here, I've asked it to create a life dashboard kind of interactive app. And at first it created something that had some extra bells and whistles and sections that I actually didn't think worked as well. So I went back to the interface of Windsurf's Cascade and asked it for some changes. And once I asked for the changes, it applied the changes to the code. And then I went back and saw that the application had improved and it was more of what I had in mind. So this is the iterative process that you can now go through where you can create these interactive applications. This is something I created entirely from scratch myself just by giving it some instructions about what I wanted to do. In this case, kind of see how many books and movies and concerts I could attend in my lifetime if I followed a certain pattern. Um, the tool is really powerful. It not only writes the code for you, but helps you put it to a public server like GitHub. And I didn't know anything about that, but the tool showed me how to do it along the way. This is a little learning game I created to practice metronome tempo recognition for music. So you'll hear beats. And it asks you to guess what's the beats per minute or what's the metronome marking, which is something that musicians can use to sharpen their um, sense of rhythm and tempo. And I created another game. Um, this is just a little uh, flappy violin. It's like Flappy Bird. Um, and it's just a very simple game. This was actually the first thing I made with this tool. And just to practice kind of getting used to how it works, you can see that you can create so many different kinds of things. Here's another music game I created just for pitch recognition, kind of ear training where you listen to a note and guess what it is. And again, these are all applications where I didn't deal with the code or even the interface directly. I just typed in what I was trying to do. For example, create an ear training game for me that has a couple of different instrument sounds, um, can have different levels of difficulty and allows people to guess and then get a score and get corrected so they can improve and learn. This next game I created, you can see as a Wordle imitator. And I set it up such that you can guess the words and see which letters are in the correct position. And you can also change it to three to six letters in length and easy, medium, or hard. And you can even get a hint about what might be the right answer. So these are all little applications you can create in just a matter of minutes. And then the first result may not work perfectly and you iterate on it. You change the type size or the color or the design or the features. This is a little geography game. It has three different elements, guessing the capitals, guessing landmarks and flags. Um, so there's lots of different kinds of things you can make. They can be playful games. They can be learning games. They can even be work applications like little calculators. So, so many different things you can do with this tool, Windsurf Cascade. And I'm really excited to see more of the possibilities as time goes along.